Hi everybody. So today um, I'm going to tell you about another city in Iran where my parents are from. Uh, it's a city called Yazd and it's sort of in the middle of Iran. It's uh, in a very, it's a, in a, basically on a desert. It's very, very, very dry and uh, I think it's next to one of the big deserts of Iran. Um, so it's a city um, that's not very big, but it has a lot of history and uh, the old part of it has been um, uh, recognized as World Heritage by UNESCO. Um, the things that are famous for this city are its um, sweets. They are very uh, varied and very tasty, of course. And it's also known for its uh, gold jewelry, uh, one of which I'm wearing today. Uh, so the cities in Iran uh, each have their own distinct character and their own uh, dialect as well. Um, and so Yazd is of course like that too. Um, I think I think those are the things that I wanted to share with you about Yazd. Um, I visited it only once uh, because we lived in Shiraz, and uh, whenever we most the, most of my family left Yazd when they were younger, and they moved to Tehran. So we didn't really have family there to go visit, but uh, we did go one uh, summer, and uh, and I write about it in this um, uh, poem. By the way, the poem is from my book, Collage of Me, which you can find on Amazon if you like. So it's called Sweets from Yaz. There is something about the familiar, which is very comforting. No introduction necessary. Old feelings come to the fore. A box of Persian sweets from Iran, delivered by my cousin, sent by my aunt, takes me back to my visit to Yazd. I pick up the Sohana Ardi and gently take a first bite. As it melts in my mouth, my senses take me to years back when one spring my mother, father, brother, and I drove to that part of Iran. I remember gazing at the sky, dotted thickly with luminous stars, so many stars that the sky seemed white. An endless desert around us, dust on the road, dust in the car, the wide streets of Yazd, the numerous bakeries in town, seeing pashmak being made, smelling the sweets all around. I take a second bite of the Sohan, a feast for my taste buds. Now comes the memory of Nowruz, the New Year's Day, when we lived in Iran, where our half-seen table was prepared with love, the family visits, the sweets my mom baked, haji badum, nane perenji, and baklava. Tasting the sweets from Iran caused these memories to flood my mind. So I think uh, this is what I wanted to share with you today. And um, I hope that if you enjoy these poems, uh, you uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, at the moment, I'm trying to post one video a day, and um, as I told you earlier, I'm telling you a little bit about my background and where I come from, the country I'm from, the city I'm from, and um, the influences on my poetry is coming next. Um, so uh, please feel free to uh, continue watching.